everyone from my favourite spot on the terrace. The birds are singing, the sun is shining, just a little bit actually, it's only just started. The puppies are playing and Lumi is sauntering around somewhere and I'm having my morning coffee. It's about almost eight o'clock. I've just finished up my PT session. Well, I finished up at half seven and uh, I'm just enjoying a very lovely start to the day. I am home alone today um, and I'm home alone pretty much until Friday, which is kind of welcomed. Obviously I um, live, work, travel, everything with my husband and he is traveling a bit blustery. He is now traveling for work with his manager and um, it gives me some time to be my introverted and quiet self for a few days, which I feel like is really important. Like it's really important to have time away from each other in a marriage because it's so funny whenever we go places and people are like, would you like to sit next to each other? And I'm like, no, I speak to him all the time. Let's, let's, let's speak to some other people. <laughs> but um, no, he's going to have a lovely time up in Scotland. And I am going to finish up my coffee in my favourite, favourite spot. Right, I am up and ready for the day, although I'm probably going to not wear this because I'm staying mostly around the house today. Um, but I've just styled up this look for TikTok and for Instagram. This is for a giveaway that I'm doing with Cellier to win this gorgeous Chanel heart bag. This is the belt bag version. It's super cute and small, but it can also be worn like super high waisted and also crossbody. Anyway, I'm giving it away over on my Instagram with them, which I'm incredibly excited about. And I styled it up with this top, which this top is yet another Amazon Triumph. And this isn't even a dupe because I haven't seen anyone doing tops as lovely as this. Um, if you think my bodysuit from Reese, this is like the long sleeve version, but it's not a bodysuit. So I have just tucked this into my trousers, but it is gorgeous and so comfortable. The only thing is that for my chest, I need a little bit more of that double lining to cover, but it is, um, still kind of covering my lady lumps. I couldn't wear a bra with it because it cut across. Um, so I've taken my bra off, but this is gorgeous. So flattering. This will look so nice with skirts. Um, if I want maybe a little bit more of like a covering on my shoulders, I just think it's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I'm so happy with this. I need to order some more. <laughs> well, I'm definitely supposed to be getting up, but this one has decided it's cuddle time. You can't have cuddles now. But I'll stay. Do you know why cuddling you is so hard? It's because you stick your claws in when you like it. My beautiful girl. No boogers today. No boogers. <laughs> Please stop sticking your claws in, you savage. Mmm, <laughs> happy mushkins. So I'm just getting ready for the day and I thought that I would show you some bits and pieces that I picked up recently from Amazon. This skirt, now I wouldn't normally show you this because this skirt doesn't actually fit me. It probably looks like it fits me because I've cheekily pinned it at the side. But the reason why I am showing it to you is because if this did fit me, I would be the happiest bunny in the entire world. It's such a gorgeous skirt. And I think I could probably get away with pinning it at the side like that um, because it's got a pocket there. I don't think you can necessarily, I might admit, mm, but I could take it to be like taken in because I have honestly been looking for skirts like this. I have ordered a plain green one, but it's a lot more expensive and I would really love this in like a green gingham. But anyway, it's a good three to four inches too big for me at this stage. So it is definitely like a, a take it in jobby, but I loved the big waistband on it and how the skirt falls. So I hope maybe they'll introduce like a different size or something like that, but it's gorgeous. I literally was like, I put it on, I was like, no, why does it fit? <laughs> and I thought it would look quite nice with this little square neck thing for a little coastal grandmother um, vibe. Very cute. Tan accessories, you know the drill, because I feel like it looks, when you put blue and white, especially gingham together, um, it looks a little bit twee. And then the moment that you give the, the warmth and the tan to it, it makes it a lot more modern. That's what I find anyway. That's just my own personal, my personal feelings on the matter. Um, but yes, so I thought I would tell you about this one because I love it. Oh yes, I found the most elegant square neck dress 
on Amazon. It doesn't have pockets, sadly. I can't give you that. But what I've done is, as you know, a lot of the things on Amazon I find I need to sort of tie in at the waist, which makes it fit me better. Um, I just added a little bow. This time I popped it at the back because I appreciate it. I put a bow on the front of everything. Um, so I popped it at the back because I actually really liked the simplicity of this dress. The neckline is basically, it kind of gives me Amelia Whipstead vibes, which is a brand that I'm really, really enjoying at the moment. And I just like the simplicity of this. There's a nice amount of fabric in the skirt, but not too much. It just hangs really nicely. This is such a classic. And the fabric itself feels almost like a sort of washed linen, but it won't be linen, um, obviously, for obvious reasons but it does feel like a wash linen, so it's got a nice relaxed feel to it. It doesn't feel too perfect or prim and proper, but this is so lovely, and I just love a square neckline. Bit of a staple here on my channel, the square neckline, since having these <laughs> sorted. I feel like they get smaller and smaller every time I do a video, which I am not complaining about. I literally just want to have, like, teeny tiny boobs, so it makes me very, very happy that they're now just nice and subtle. <laughs> okay, another smocked dress, but this one, basically, if you see a smocked dress on Amazon and I haven't shown you it, don't buy it. <laughs> because I promise I will show you the ones that are good. Um, because I've just tried on two and they were not good. This one is wonderful though. Really great amount of smocking, not too like tight on the waist area. Beautiful little bows. And actually the fabric of this is really, really cute. This is a really lovely, lovely little garden dress um, and day dress for summer. And we are about to have one hell of a heat wave here in England. So I thought this was really cute. Just an easy sun hat, this kind of dress, and it's just a no-brainer. So I think this comes in other colors, and I think I might have ordered a few more, but this one for me was the, was the loveliest because it's just a cute little kind of ditzy floral print, still a really lovely neckline, nice and structured and covered, but I love it. Very, very lovely. I have also just checked, and this dress is back in stock. This is one of my all-time favorite Amazon dresses, one of my favorite purchases, uh, because this is just so similar. I get it out of my, I showed you this last time, but so oh, similar to my Erdem dress. It gives me all of these kind of feelings. Um, but if this isn't, obviously if the Erdem isn't within your budget, obviously this collection isn't available anymore either. So if you wanted something similar that has this kind of wild flower detail, this is almost like the reverse version. So this is white with green illustrations, whereas this is green with white. But I think it's absolutely gorgeous, this dress. And it's super comfortable, super lightweight, really comfortable like around the neck and on the shoulders. So I think actually I am going to wear this one today because um, it is so muggy. It's not sunny, but it's very, very muggy. So um, I need something that's a little bit cooler, but I still want to look nice. So that is what I'm gonna do for the day. And just as I had decided what to wear today, um, an Amazon delivery arrived. So I thought I'd unbox these with you. I, mean, I don't know what's in here, to be honest. Probably some things for the, for Lumi. A little front line, so we've got that on Amazon as well. In this one, I think I know what this is, and this I am very, very excited about. Yes. So this was a purchase that I made from TikTok, and I am so excited to try this out. So one of the things that I've always said is that I really love, like, um, wild and wonderful bouquets of flowers. And when I saw these, I thought that these were the absolute key and so much more sustainable than A, using um, Floristry uh, Oasis and also chicken wire or sellotape. These are reusable, so you can buy like a few of them and they're called Floristry Frogs. And perfect for if you like sort of bouquets like mine, but also just for normal bouquets, um, arranging them in a more like curated way. So I could actually probably get a bigger one, but I'll show you the biggest one. So this is the 60 millimeter ones and they look like this. And basically with a little bit of blue tack, you 
stick this to the bottom of your vase or your pot. My goodness, these are a weapon of mass destruction, so be, be very careful. Um, but basically, you stick this to the bottom of your pot, and then you just press your flowers with the long stems into this, and it holds them in place. So these can be then washed and reused, and it means that you're not using lots of like chicken wire and things like that. So I thought that this was such a great sustainable option, but also if you see the bouquets that are created with them, they are literally the most wild and wonderful. And one of the things that I like is really to utilize the wild flower in our garden. And I remember people used to laugh at me. I remember someone saying um, that the valerian that I use from the wall um, is a weed. And I was like, that is such, like that it really is such a like example of two different mindsets and how one person can view something that's so beautiful as a wild flower, as a weed, and another person can view it as something as beautiful as a wildflower. Like it just shows how differing mindsets can be. But anyway, I am fully into the wildflower lifestyle. Oh, do not do that. That is very um very very sharp but they come in different sizes so you can do little posies with them like i, I feel i feel like this one's going to be very cute oh my gosh literally tiny little posy one so you can buy loads of different sizes you can get a few more if you're used to having more bouquets but maybe i can create um some bouquets with you with these um just like to show you how to use them maybe i don't think i've got any flowers in the house but i could cut some from the wall potentially, if I have time, anyway. But yes, anyway, this is something that I've been waiting for. And then in here, I think this will be my delivery of punnets. Yes, it most definitely is. So in here, I have basically, I bought the smallest, Porter, enough please. Um, in here, I bought the smallest uh, amount allowed. But I thought, A, this would be good for me for storage of my loots from my kitchen garden, but also when I want to gift like um, any of my monge too or any bits from my kitchen garden, I've got some recycled little punnets like this so I can pack things in there. I can wrap them up with a little bit of like uh, twine or a bow, add one of my little kitchen garden labels to them. And it's a gift because at this time of year, the only thing I really like gifting is things that I've either made or have grown in my kitchen garden because for me that's just I, I'm sure people think think I'm mental for it but although a lot of you did understand because I didn't I had no idea what was going on in Australia because Australia had their entire lettuce crop wiped out I believe by floods and um, so lettuce for them is like 12 pound for just one florette basically if I could send you some of my lettuce I would I really would but yeah, so I just thought that these were a nice recycled way, recyclable way um, of sharing, sharing my loot basically. So there's quite a few in them, but I do gift quite a lot and I do grow quite a lot. So um, I thought this would be lovely. So I'm going to store these in my little cupboard, but also get some of the bits that I've been, because this is what happens. I put them on here because I haven't got anything really properly to put them in. So now these can go into here. Although I'm definitely making myself the pasta that I made the other night. It's these cute little punnets. Like so. And then these can go in my fridge. Voila! Good evening everyone. I am looking a little bit dishevelled um, because it has been a long day. I have been up since, well I kind of stirred at about five o'clock because if you hadn't noticed or if I haven't told you, have I told you? Ali's in Scotland on a job in Scotland and he sent me the most beautiful, <gasps> he's staying in the most beautiful room ever. I actually can't cope with how beautiful it is and I'm jealous, I'm jealous but he's there with his manager because I'm not quite so good at capturing content as Ali is for him. He's very, very particular. So he's sent me, I'll put the picture on screen. It is beautiful. Thankfully, my um, 
New Jambati Savali dress has, well, two piece has arrived back from the dry cleaners um, because I wore this to Silverstone the other day and I want to wear it to Wimbledon tomorrow because tomorrow I am off to Wimbledon. <laughs> I'm off to Wimbledon tomorrow with Elizabeth Arden. I was supposed to go last year and I couldn't go because we had uh, sadly got the dates wrong and I had a wedding to go to. So I, I was so looking forward to it because it, it's always the most fun and I missed it. I was devastated. So I'm so happy that we've been able to make it happen this year, but I wanted to wear that. I have also made an order of um, some Amelia Wickstead pieces. It's a two piece, but I don't think it's gonna arrive in time. So I won't be able to wear that, but I am gonna take it on my next trip, which I will be on my way back from as you're watching this. Actually, I've got a few chores that I need to do first. I need to do the dishwasher, tidy up the kitchen, and put some things away. So I'm gonna do that first. Lumi is fed, the boys are fed, and look how much is left in Porter's bowl. He just takes his time, and then when Barkley comes over to steal it, he just gives it to him. So we have to guard their bowls at all the time. Oh, that was a big bite, Porter. You got a little bit on your schnoot as well. Looked clean. A little bit on his schnoot. Barkley, what are you doing? Pivot, pivot. Oh, you're wobbling a little bit. Good morning everyone. I am up, dressed, hair freshly washed, really enjoying my hair today. I feel like, I'm like, when did my hair get this long? Who knows? Um, where are my shoes? So, I'm really sad. It's not looking as sunny as I thought it was gonna be today. I don't know whether to take a cardigan with me or what, to be honest. Every time I've ever been to um, Wimbledon, which is what I'm going to today. We're going to the ladies' semi-finals, I believe. Or is it the finals? Semi-finals. Um, but it's always been like blistering hot and I'm hoping it's gonna warm up. Maybe I should check the weather. That is always helpful. Um, but yeah, completely outfit repeating today because I loved how I felt wearing this the other day, so I'm wearing it again. Um, but it should be and always is a wonderful day with the Elizabeth Arden team. And we celebrate basically their most iconic product, which is eight hour. Um, and eight hour has been something that myself, my family has used for literally decades. Um, I used it before I was in this job. My stepmom used it on me when, when I was a kid, like if ever I had any like irritation or dryness or anything like that. And it's just so wonderful to still, to this day, A, be using it. We keep a little tube in our pot in our living room for Ali and I, because we both use it. Um, but also getting to celebrate it as part of my job with such a wonderful brand, with such beautiful heritage and spend a lovely day together again. And actually I'm going to be with a few ladies that I'm actually going on a trip with in a couple of days. So how blooming lovely is that? <laughs> So I am, I'm actually wearing a different perfume today as well. I found a little tester of the Louis Vuitton, um, like one of the Louis Vuitton ones, and I really like it. I might actually buy that. I might actually buy that, because it's nice, subtle, but still quite feminine. I like that. Anyway, I'm gonna stop faffing with my hair, but I really like how it's come out. I like these swooshy bangs that I've got going on. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. But anyway, let's go. Jambati Stivali two piece, uh, Valentino rock stud, little sandals, mini Kelly, good to go. We have arrived to Centre Court, ready for the ladies' semi-finals. Yeah, we're all, they're all 
It's also completely different here this year. Um, it's a lot quieter on this road. They've closed this road. Usually this is absolute carnage. But it's looking so lovely. removed all of the cars from parking out here you get such a great view of this because this used to be called the Gatsby didn't yes, it and then and, I think the first year we came it was the Gatsby. yeah and now it's called That's the lawn goodness me it looks great we are in the lawn club and I have not really spoken to you since I've been here but it has been the most wonderful day and we have so much lovely sunshine. It was so grey when we got here before. This is Matt in the background enjoying his rosé. But we've already had dinner and we're about to have some afternoon tea but we've been outside. I'm going to the ladies room. Um, we watched the ladies semi-final and what a wonderful day. It's always such a lovely day whenever we come here and it's even better now. I feel like they fine tune it every single time whenever we come. But yeah. I've spent a lot of time in the sunshine, so if I'm a little bit pink, that is why. Well, I am home, and I feel like today will go down in history as officially the world's west, the world's west? <laughs> the world's worst attempt of vlogging that I have ever done. Um, I don't know, like I, I fully set myself up to be like capturing everything. I think maybe, because it was such a diff like a different group of people and I think maybe because none of them were vloggers I felt really silly if I got my if, if I got my camera out so I just kind of instead incorporated myself rather than um heading off to grab my camera all of the time but now I'm like I get that moment where I'm like oh no, no, like, I'm always like taking you guys with me. But it was so nice to go there with Elizabeth Arden. Honestly, I, like it's always my favorite event. It's always so lovely. And the Arden team is always so lovely. And I spent so much time with them, which was just lovely. <laughs> Us Brits, we love the lovely word. But I also met loads of other people as well, people that I haven't met before, which was always just, it's such a treat. But I just always feel silly because like, I feel like vlogging, I don't know. I don't know whether vlogging is like such a thing. <laughs> And all of these like cool people that have like millions of followers or whatever and there I am I'm like hello welcome to my channel <laughs> I don't know I think I maybe felt a little bit silly but I'm home um back to the dogs they were exceptionally happy but I think that they are definitely wanting some dinner so I'm gonna make sure that they are fed I might try and get out into the garden oh I've gone a little bit out of focus I'm trying to get it I'm gonna try and get out into the garden into the greenhouse give everything a water I've got some tomatoes to feed before the sun sets because obviously I've got um you okay there, Barkley? Are you okay? I've got um, a weekend away, so anyway. Are you okay? A little bit excited? Ready for some food? He doesn't know what to do with himself. Are you ready for some food? Are you ready for some food? Should we show everyone what you do when you're ready for some food? Ready? Are you ready for some food? Are you ready for some food? You are ready for some food. Even Forty's ready for some food. Oh my goodness. Little meerkats. Little meerkats. Forty doesn't jump. The only time Forty jumps is when Forty wants to get on the sofa. Barkley, however, is a little springbok. Ready? Okay, you're both hungry. I won't tease you. Are we ready? Good boy. What are you crying for? Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, the heat wave, heat wave, heat wave has arrived and the framing of the garden that is literally what i think of when i look at these like doors open it's it's just like a picture frame of the most beautiful view i actually can't cope with it and the sun is gloriously shining i need to get out the uh cushions for the sun loungers i've watered all of my pots this morning inside and outside 
and can we take a moment please to appreciate how stunning our hydrangea annabelles are oh my goodness there's so many that i actually think that i would be able to pick some and maybe try out my frog i don't know if you're supposed to i'm going to do some googling because the last thing i want to do is um is uh destroy the annabelles basically because they are just so beautiful and frothy um, and they really work well as like a sort of border to this view look at them looking all flumpy absolutely gorgeous these two are now enjoying the sunshine the only sad travesty of our garden is our rose arch i i'm sorry but what are you doing our rose arch sadly it happened in a matter of days but our rose arch has just i just can't even explain what's happened to it it is i think it has got an exceptionally bad case of black spot and it just took hold before we could do anything all of our roses here are doing really really well but this just doesn't even look salvageable and the funny thing was is I was like oh we're going to replace the rose here and everyone was like oh I hope you plant it somewhere else it's not looking likely because this is sad but this is the thing with the garden sometimes the wet weather and the conditions that you have that season can just lead to some of your plants not doing so well which is sad but you learn to deal with the heartache <laughs> oh Look at this view it just makes me so happy today is definitely a no makeup day in terms of like no foundation i've done my eyes and i really feel like i've kind of perfected me doing my makeup in this way and feeling comfortable although because it was a wild day yesterday and um some rosé was consumed i probably don't look as fresh as i would like to look and i'm not going to for a while because i've got travel coming up but I wanted to show you a couple more dresses that I'd ordered from Amazon that have arrived. And this one, this green dress. Yes, I am just, again, a floating head in my, in my dressing room. <laughs> but this, this dress, guys, can we take a moment? Now, as usual, I am going to say that I would love this. Absolutely love this. In a midi version. But this is an ador I can't even believe this is from Amazon. It is such incredible quality. It's unbelievable. The colour of green is perfection. This is such a wonderful holiday dress as well. Because sometimes when you wear longer dresses, it can get very hot under the dress. And um, you want something a bit shorter. So this is a lovely, elegant, it's almost like crochet uh, detailing dress. You can button it up to the top. It looks just as wonderful. I'll pop you down here so you can see full length. Um, and it's so it's nice and breathable but it is a beautiful like quality feeling fabric it may not be like the best uh, com it may not be like um, cotton or anything like that but it feels really good it's got great structure wonderful volume in the sleeves and this colour guys this colour like I just cannot it is my favourite I love it so so much and it just goes well with everything in my wardrobe. In fact, it actually goes well with my wardrobe in that it is the colour of my wardrobe. <laughs> if you were thinking about any of these dresses, you'll be pleased to know that it is Amazon Prime Day, I think for the next two days. So it's the perfect opportunity to like make a saving on things on Amazon, basically. And this dress, I think you would be very, very sad if you missed it. I think I got it in another colour as well. I might have got it in white, so I'm going to try that on as well with you. This is the white version. You could obviously add a plain white um, bow belt if you wanted to, but for me, these kinds of dresses just elevate so much with a really well curated belt. And uh, this one is obviously my favorite one at the moment. I just love this. Um, so I pop it on, zhuzh the dress like so. I just love it. It's like. The detailing on this is so gorgeous. It looks so expensive. Pardon me. It looks so expensive. Um, and I just can't get over the sleeves. Like even the cuff detailing, there's little 
like kind of crochet scallops and then three button three button cuff nice deep cuff big voluminous sleeves beautiful neckline oh it is gorgeous this is perfect for like exploring i always think of like where i would wear the dresses and i'm thinking like this is you've got like a straw hat almost like a straw trilby or sun hat um sunglasses this exploring a city like i don't know florence or something like that in this dress i think yeah that's where i am right now <laughs> but because the sun is shining and i want to spend as much time outdoors today i've popped on my amazon the drop smocked dress with these ruffly sleeves this sold out pretty much instantly i think there's only like yellow left in stock at the moment but it's one of my favorite dresses it is the most comfortable and most flattering and it always looks so elevated so i'm going to wear this and i'm going to get the cushions out and i'm going to sit and enjoy an afternoon outside these are my bits of reading material for in the garden and i'm going to get the cushions out and make myself comfortable probably make myself something yummy to eat snuggle with these and delve into these. very exciting box has just arrived you would have seen my time candle this morning that I've got burning just in the hallway there well I made a very large order from time um, of some bits and pieces to the house I thought that we could get into them together very quickly oh Oh, perfect. I'm going to frame this immediately. Oh, I love that. So this is their wild time illustration and that can instantly go in a frame. It's beautiful. And on the back it says, please forgive us that your parcel may not be the most beautifully wrapped. We reuse all packaging to reduce our waste with love. That's what I love. Even though I used to love beautiful packaging and I still get sucked into it. Um, it's more important that things are reused mainly. Oh, so that's arrived. And this has arrived. So I'll open these first. I wanted to get some of the fabrics from Bertioli into my home as quickly as possible. So I got the Cobnut little frilly pillow. I think that this will probably be quite nice in my dressing room. But this I think will look really lovely on the ottoman or on the chair. What my love? You want this? No. Um, I think this will look lovely on, on there. And as an accent, I thought I would get the stem pillow, so I thought these two together, so it's not too much of the same. Yeah, so I thought that these would be quite lovely together in my dressing room. Oh, they're so adorable. And then I ordered another bowl, because Ali is always moaning that we don't have um, enough serving dishes. And I love this one. Shush, shush, my love, shush. So we've got another one and I love buying pottery from there because they're always made um, like by either local or just independent people. So, and I just think they always look lovely. So I ordered this one, which is kind of like an olive green uh, bowl and it says for the love of the land. And I thought that'd be very, very lovely for serving like pasta, 
um, or salads when we have like barbecues. Like, everything just goes so lovely together. Like, look. <laughs> also, by the way, I got these pillows as well so I can try them around the house with the different shades of green to see which ones they go with. Um, I'm going to do it with my napkins as well just to work out what colour I'm going to go for the headboard in the spare bedroom, etc, etc. So, that's that. I also... got another one of these. We've got some spares of this anyway, but we always want it in stock. So this is the hand and body wash, but we use this on the sinks in our ensuite and in our kitchen because we just love them. And then this is the bit of artwork that I didn't have enough time to buy when I was there last time just to brush off. Um, and so they finally got it to me. So this is the artwork that I ordered and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Perfect for our home. Anyway, I'm gonna get back into the garden, tidy all of this up and I will leave you here because I've got lots to do, lots of packing to do and uh, I will see you in my next vlog. Thanks for watching, bye.